Hi everyone. Well, the clouds and the rains continue here in Savannah, southeastern Georgia and southern South Carolina. Makes it very difficult to get out at night to view the stars and that's actually been the great problem. Haven't been able to see the sky at night other than the clouds that have been streaming on by. And now another storm system is beginning to move into the region. However, last night there was a little window of opportunity. The sky cleared off somewhat. Not the best seeing in the world, but somewhat available for me to test out the new camera. The ASI 1600mm ProTech uh, from uh, ZWO. And I was able to use Nina to capture the North America Nebula. Let's take a look. Welcome to Heavenly Backyard Astronomy and this evening I want to look at the North American Nebula. It is a very large nebula about the size of four full moons uh, stretching across the sky so I need a wide angle view. So what I have done is taken the uh, ED80 telescope which is an F6 uh, with a 480 uh, millimeter focal length and put an, uh, a reducer on there, an 8 tenth reducer knocking down the focal length to 384 millimeters. That gives me an, almost an F4, not quite an F4, uh, view of the sky. That allows me to get the whole North America nebula. Now this is one of the first times I really tried to use the uh, monochrome camera and with that you have to take uh, several pictures uh, in the uh, different channels. So I have the new red filter, the green filter, and the blue filter. That's what I use for this. And I took shots of each uh, throughout the nighttime hours using Nina. Now what's nice about Nina is that I can program the system to take a picture with the red, and then take a picture with the green, then take a picture with the blue uh, filters, and then go back and do another set. So I do a set of three, then another set of three, and so forth and so on until the clouds return, or until I'm finished, uh, in this case, when the clouds return. Anyway, I was able to get uh, five series of, of um, uh, the sets of red, green, and blue, RGB. And from there, I took it into a uh, deep sky stacker and I started stacking. So let's go into that and let me show you how I did that. All right, what I first do is open up the files in this case, it's going to be the uh, uh, North American Nebula. And there are the three channels from last night. Blue, green, and red. So the reds are, since I had up to 10 with the clouds, and I only have four five-minute Subsamples to receive. Let's load those in anyway. And there they are. Coming into Deep Sky Stacker, and stack them in like here. Um, bring in one of the pictures. Let's bring it in uh, up a little bit. Uh, anyway, uh, this is Deep Sky Stacker. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this uh, image here as my reference frame. Now all the other frames, the green and the blue, and if I had recorded H-alpha, if I had recorded the luminous, uh, they would be referenced to this frame. That's Everything's going to stack reference to this frame. So in Deep Sky Stack, you right click on the frame you want to keep as a reference and use that as a reference frame. There it is. It's, it's checked off. So from there, uh, you add your dark files, which I did, and uh, I got a master now, and the flat files. I have flats um, in the um, uh, red. There it is, and the flats. And I already made a master on that. And then the dark flats. Okay, let's add those. And these are in the reds again. And another nice thing about Nina is it has this flat wizard, which is really, really good. And uh, using the uh, flat wizard, uh, particularly when you're using RGB and or uh, 
uh, narrow band filters such as uh, H alpha, oxygen, and silicon. Um, it, it does it all for you. Uh, once you have it set up, and then it, it, it'll, it'll, it'll record all your flats for you. Uh, it changes the filters automatically. All you have to do is preset it and then hit go. And once it's all set, it will do all the uh, work for you, which is really nice. Anyway, so now I have everything ready here to uh, start stacking. Um, I'm going to register the pictures. Uh, let's do the... Um, I just want to see how many stars it's going to pick up. It's picking up quite a bit. I have it all the way up to 49, almost 50% uh, uh, threshold, and it's still picking up 400, what is that, uh, almost 500 stars. So I'm good to go. So uh, in this case, it's it's ready to go. I'm going to stack it. And this is not going to take long because I used, uh, well, I, I, I had five frames each at five minutes, which would have given me 25 minutes per channel. Uh, on last night with the clouds, that was a gamble, and I did lose one um, frame per channel throughout the night due to clouds or tracking errors. And so I got 20 minutes of each channel. So that gives me an hour exposure time, which is not all that bad. I did not record any luminance. I, I was not feeling that lucky last night. Anyway, as you can see, it's just about done here. Uh, um, applying the, uh, aligning the channels and then saving the image. And then the image is going to come up momentarily. And there we see it. And loading it in. And there it is. This is the red channel. And I'm going to uh, just, it, it doesn't matter. Oops, I didn't click on here. Uh, it's a little bright there. It doesn't matter. Where, this is just for viewing pleasure only right here. Uh, it, it doesn't affect the saved image. There you can see the North American Nebula upside down in this case. Um, and I like this better. It, it, again, it doesn't matter. Uh, from here, we go into Photoshop. And I, 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 I did the other channels. So let's go to Photoshop and see what's in there right now. And uh, oh, that's, that's me. Photoshop, there you are. And uh, there's a finished product of the heart nebula I did as well. But uh, all right, here we go. Uh, I'm going to just dump these out of here. No, no, and no. I already got that saved. Let's just get all this out of here. Well, let's cancel that. I want to save that. I, I want to show you what I, how I came across the product itself. And okay, um, let's open up the three channels, North American Nebula, and they're all going to be stored in the red channel because that's the one I used to um, North America red because that's the, uh, the one I used that's the reference. So it's going to be auto save one, auto save two, and auto save three. Um, uh, but I changed those to uh, renamed them to red, green, and blue. And there they are, red, green, and blue. Now open those up. Now, I'm sure there's there's many different ways of doing this. This is what I have discovered so far. You're learning along with me, or I'm learning along with you in this case, uh, how to process these uh, grayscale images into color images from the monochrome camera. You can do it in site as well. I, I, I do like Photoshop though, I'll do that. All right, do so I have my three images? I have the blue, the green, and the red. And uh, so the next step you go from there is to combine those into an RGB color image. So what I'm gonna do is open up a new image and I want a custom image. I want uh, um, RGB color, I have my options here. Well, you know, the different options, but I want RGB color. And 16-bit, um, yep, yeah, okay. Uh, and that's the size of the output from my camera, 4344 by 3216. All right, create. All right, now I want to take the red, and I'm going to select all. And I'm going to select C, for uh, Alt-C to copy. 
and then I'm going into that new image and I'm going to click on see it's in layers right now I want to click on channels I'm going to click on channels I'm going to click on the red and the red channel right now is solid black I'm going to put in the new image and there it is that's the red channel now if I look at the RGB color there it is it's red that's what the red channel looks like all right let's get the green the green got it here control all uh, uh, control A for all control C for copy back over into the uh, message the other uh, uh, image the RGB image and load the green channel boom green so now it's red and green in the channels right there so let's add that blue channel there it is and I think I got this a little bit too bright I'm gonna bring it down just a little bit um, I don't know which way I'm going here nope, wrong way let's bring it down a little bit that's too much blue. All right. And control A, control C to copy. Go over here into the RGB image. Click on the blue. So I'm in the channels. Click on the blue and hit control V for copy. There we have something right now. And there's my image at the moment. Next thing I'm going to do is I don't like it upside down. So I'm going to flip it and uh, image image rotation 180 all right there you can see a little bit better concept of the North American Nebula however I need more to do more work so I'm in RGB layers I'm going to go into filters and um, camera raw filter all right there we go from here I can start playing around with all my toys and uh, you get my idea and but again the final results was this right here the North American Nebula so also during the night I was able to um, capture the heart nebula but that is more difficult in my location because I have to look over the city of Savannah I'm on the far south side and this is up in the north northeastern sky I'm in the south southwest portion of Savannah and I have to look right over the city and the lights uh, from the city if there's any kind of moisture up in the sky and Lord forbid if there are any kind of clouds, thin clouds, which there were last night, that light's going to reflect back down to the surface and back into the camera. But anyway, um, I did get a picture of it. Um, I'm not all that pleased uh, with it, but this is the uh, the heart nebula. There you can see the somewhat shape of a heart right in here and the center of the heart. Um, I always think it too as an arrow <laughs> shooting through the heart. Uh, maybe I'm a romantic, I don't know. But th th there's the heart nebula from last night. A lot of light pollution though. I, even with the RGB filters, I had a lot of light filter, um, light uh, pollution problems with that. Again, the uh, North American nebula, there it is right there. That, that, I think that came out pretty good. But one of my first RGB pictures with the monochrome camera, um, well, you know, the um, the sky wasn't the best. Out of a scale of 0 to 10, where 0 is totally cloud cover and 10 is what you dream about, crystal clear diamonds in the sky, last night might have been a 7 at best. Maybe 6.5 to 7 was the uh, sky conditions last night. So I had a, a very high haze, high humidity, and cloud cover across the area. But anyway, that's what I had last night. And there's the uh, North American Nebula. And uh, going back in here, I'm located right here and over here is another line of thunderstorms developing, severe thunderstorms near the Fort Stewart and Hinesville area, another band of thunderstorms coming in from the west southwest. I won't be doing any astronomy again for tonight. So with that, I take it back to the end. Now, if you like my videos, please subscribe to my channel. I do a lot of astrophotography here in the southeastern Georgia, southern South Carolina area basically on the south side of Savannah and uh, I post these on YouTube and uh, subscribe and ring the little bell so you'll be notified when I upload new information and new videos. Uh, meanwhile, uh, we're continuing to have more cloudy skies across our region. Now, hopefully you're having clear skies. We're, not, we're having more cloudy weather conditions here and you know I'm a uh, retired meteorologist so and I have all the tools I can look at to see what's on the uh, 
uh, upcoming future for weather information and it doesn't look very good at all right now. Looks like we're going to see a lot of more nights of clouds and more days of rain uh, before the sky really clears off. Usually, uh, traditionally, it doesn't really clear off until the middle of October. So anytime I get a clear sky in the summertime into the early autumn time, that's a bonus and I try to uh, 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 capitalize on that like I did last night. Well, thanks for watching, and unless you need rain, <laughs> unless you need rain, clear skies, everyone.